we took the important ideas that we developed and the community had developed over several decades and codified them into what are now called the Dragon Books. The first Dragon Book was published in uh, 1977, uh, and it incorporated the experiences that we had in, at Bell Labs in creating the Lex and Yak tools and some of the experiences of we had in using the Lex and Yak tools to create programming languages, also what people like Kernahan and Cherry had done in creating the typesetting EQN language and other languages. So it had relevant theory that could be useful in practice to create compilers and programming language translators, but it was theoretically sound. Jeff and I are theoreticians at heart, so we did have theorems and proofs in the book. And Jeff had this brilliant idea that the book should have a cover with a fierce dragon on it, representing the complexity of compiler design, and then a knight in armor with a lance, and the armor and the lance were uh, emblazoned with uh, techniques from uh, f formal language theory and compiler theory to slay the complexity of uh, compiler design. In the 1980s, uh, more was known about how to construct efficient compilers, so we invited Ravi Sethi as a third co-author, he was at Bell Labs at the time, to join us in creating uh, the second version of the Dragon Book. The first version, the dragon was in green. The second version, the dragon was in red. What was interesting about the Red Dragon Book was there was a movie that was created in 1995 titled Hackers, with a young Angelina Jolie in it. And in the book, there's the uber hacker that's explaining to the new hackers what you have to read to become an uber hacker. And he shows them 10 papers and books that you must read. And one of them was the Red Dragon Book. And when my two children saw this movie, and they had seen the Red Dragon Book at home, this is the first time their old man, they thought their old man was really something because he had one of his books in a Hollywood movie. Um, it shows what you have to do to impress your kids these days.